week six of the fantasy baseball season, and here's a few hitters I look to drop this week. The first guy, Jared Kelnick of the Seattle Mariners. Kelnick, he was in that big trade with the New York Mets a few seasons ago for Robinson Cano and Edwin Diaz, and right now the Mets cut Cano last week. He went to the Padres, and Kelnick called down to the minor leagues before that series with the New York Mets. So right here, the Mariners, they didn't want to deal with all the press and all the questioning, so they called him down before the Mets series, and rightfully so. He's been struggling mightily here. Once again, he's Kelnick. Three home runs, 10 RBIs, 10 runs scored, four stolen bases, an awful 140 batting average, and a 219 on base. So this guy, over the last season and a half now that we've seen him in the major leagues, he strikes out a ton. He can't hit the baseball, and maybe he's going to be a bust. I know he's only 22 years old here as Kelnick, but right now he's got a couple opportunities, and he definitely can't get the job done at all here for the Seattle Mariners. And this is the second time he's been optioned to the minor leagues in the last couple of years. So the last few games before he got sent down, May 6th versus Tampa, one for one, a homer, two RBIs. May 7th at Tampa, one for three. May 8th versus Tampa, one for four with a run. May 9th versus Philly, 0 for three. May 10th versus Philly, 0 for three with a run. And May 11th versus Philly, 0 for one. So right here, minor league struggling was Kelnick. And they called him down to the minor leagues here, Seattle. And I know they're going with Steven Souza Jr. right now in the outfield taking Kelnick's spot. But Kelnick, he was just this bad. They didn't want him in the press in New York. And right now, how could you honestly trust him in fantasy leagues? I know he's got a lot of hype and a guy who tore it up in the minor leagues. But right now... In a short time in a season and a half on and off in the majors, he hasn't shown anything. And he's a hitter I would drop. If he comes back up, maybe you pick him back up. But right now, no reason to stash him on your roster. The next guy, Gordo Escobar of the New York Mets. So Escobar, I mentioned, there's a drop last week. And this guy, it's been a tough sledding in his first season for him with the New York Mets. I know he's very versatile with first, second, and third in fantasy. And I know he's been a good power hitter throughout his career. Last season, 28 home runs. But so far this year, he's been a train wreck. One homer, seven RBIs. 15 runs scored, a 205 average, and a 312 on base. So the on base is still pretty good here considering the 205 batting average, but he's not hitting the baseball. He's not doing anything for fantasy on. He's only seven RBIs on the season, and he's an easy drop this week. No doubt he could turn it around in the second half of the season or even in the next couple weeks here where the weather is warm. But right now, even the last two weeks, he's 4 for 42 with an 0.95 batting average, and he's just not getting anything going for this team. And this Met team, they're not scoring that many runs either, 11th in the National League in scoring runs. So May 10th at Washington for Escobar, 0 for 4 with a run. May 11th at Washington, 1 for 4. May 13th versus Seattle, 0 for 4. May 14th versus Seattle, 0 for 4. May 15th versus the Marin. There's 1 for 3 with 2 runs. So right here, he's not doing anything for fantasy owners. And he's an easy drop this week here as Escobar. He definitely could turn it around, but there's no reason to hold on to him. Right now, the next guy, Spencer Torxlin. Of the Detroit Tigers, so one of the top prospects in all the major leagues. And Torkelson, same thing like Jared Kelnick. So far here, he's come up and he's shown nothing in his first 98 at-bats. Three home runs, nine RBI, seven runs scored, a 153 average, and a 278 on base. So right here, we know he's very young. We know he's a top prospect for a reason here. But it wouldn't be surprising to see Detroit send them down to the minors sooner than later if the struggles continue here that he gets more reps in the minors works on his hitting and gets things going because right now it's way too early obviously to call this kid a bust but maybe he wasn't ready right away this season to come up to the major league so the last few games here for him may 10th versus oakland 0 for 3 may 11th versus oakland 0 for 3 may 12th versus oakland 0 for 2 with a run may 13th versus baltimore 2 for 3 with an RBI, May 14th versus Baltimore for three, May 15th versus Baltimore for three, and May 16th, they benched him in that ball game to give him rest. So right here, he's been dropped in 3% of fantasy league, still owned in 38, but a lot of owners have shied away for Torquinson. And hey, I know he's a top prospect, but you can't wait six, seven weeks here for him to get things going, especially if you're down there in the standings and you got to make some moves and get your team back on the right track. So right now, in redraft leagues, I would drop him. In dynasty and keeper leagues, you keep him. But right now, he's definitely struggling. And an option to triple A or double A, whatever, I definitely could see here for Torquil. And the next guy, Stephen Kwong 
Cleveland Guardian, Saquon, he got off to a good start early in the season, the first two, three weeks here, but his numbers have totally fizzled out on the season. One home run, 13 RBIs, a stolen base, 19 runs scored, a 281 average, and a 377 on base percentage. So right here, he was a good story as Quan. He got off to the start the first two, three weeks where he was hitting 400, but now over the last month of the season here, the last four weeks, he's only hitting 230. He's not showing power, only one home run on the season. And his on base is still pretty solid on the season, 377. But the batting average is dipped. He's not really driving in runs. And he was a first few week anomaly here for this Guardian team. Because right now, he really hasn't done much of anything except get a couple singles here. Quan May 8th versus Toronto, 1 for 4 with a run. May 9th at the White Sox, 1 for 5, 3 runs. May 10th at the White Sox, 0 for 3. May 13th at Minnesota, 0 for 4. May 14th at the Twins, 2 for 4. And May 15th at the Twins, 0 for 4. So right here, he's not driving in runs. He's not really hitting the baseball. And he's a guy who would drop because he don't have much of a track record as well here in his rookie season in the major leagues. But the only positive him for him here, he's only struck out 10 times in 96 at-bats. He puts the ball in play, and he tries to make things happen, but I don't think he has it here for fantasy owners in 10 and 12 team leagues. And the fifth and final hitter I look to drop this week's Jesus Sanchez of the Miami Marlins. So right here, it's been a struggle for Sanchez over the last few weeks when he was a hot pickup the first couple weeks of the season, but he totally fizzled out as well, especially in the last month of the season, hitting 172 only. On the season, three home runs, 12 RBIs, 15 runs scored, 207 average, 270 on base to Sanchez. He's definitely a good power guy, though. I could see him hit 20 home runs this season. Last season, in only 227 at-bats, he had 14 home runs, but right now he's not getting on base. He's not doing anything for fantasy owners, and he's been a strikeout machine as well, striking out six times in his last three ball games here, Sanchez. And he had the day off yesterday at Washington as well, maybe to get his head right and maybe hoping he could turn things around. And he's been dropping four percent of fantasy leagues. So the last few games here for Sanchez: May 9th at Arizona, one for four with a run. May 10th at Arizona, zero for four. May 11th at Arizona, zero for four, two runs. May 13th versus Milwaukee, 0 for 3. May 14th versus Milwaukee, 1 for 3, 2 runs. And then the Golden Sombrero, May 15th versus Milwaukee, 0 for 4 with 4Ks. And May 16th, like I mentioned, he sat that one out for a day off versus Washington. So right now, strikeout machine, like I mentioned, not doing much of anything. And he's a guy I would drop here. He definitely could get things going again here. But this Marlin team as a whole, for the most part, they've been struggling over the last two weeks. And Sanchez's struggles have definitely played a part with the team struggling. So that's a few hitters I would drop here for week six of the fantasy baseball season.